Hello guys, I'm back. Today I'll talk to you about valves. You will learn in this video how is the most used valves in chemical process engineering and plant design. You will find what are the main characteristics and how to identify them on piping and instrumentation diagrams. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduate and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. To start with, what is valve? By definition, valves are mechanical devices specifically designed to direct, start, stop, mix or regulate the flow, pressure or temperature of a fluid. Valves can be designed to handle either liquids or gas applications. And most important to understand from this definition is that the working principle of a valve depends on its orifice. Different types of valves will have different orifices and that will lead to different pressure drop and also different flow through the valve. Valves can be classified in different ways. For instance, considering the method of flow regulation, we can classify the valves based on closing down, sliding, rotating, flexing of valve body. These classifications can be also extended for control valves that is nothing more than a valve with an automatic actuator. So if we go to the classification, we will find the same types of valves that's available in the classification by the method of flow regulation. But in the point of view of chemical process engineering and plant design, the most important classification is based on its function. So the four main functions for a valve is isolation, regulation, flow restriction, and relief. Now I will share with you the main characteristics and selection of the most used valves in the industry. And just as a reminder, if you want to have access for free to this presentation, you just need to look at the link available in the description of this video. Let's start with a gate valve. A gate valve is one of the most used valves for isolation of equipment and systems. Some of the characteristics of a uh, gate valve includes the gate is lowered to cut off the flow because in its constructions, construction we have a disc that goes up or goes down to isolate the fluid. This valve most often is used for isolation, especially because of its construction and it is cheaper than other valves depending on the size. There is a very low pressure drop when full open because the orifice of this kind of valve leads to the same size of the, the pipe. So when the valve is full open, the disc will be in this compartment and because of that we will have a full bore of the pipeline available for flow of fluid. And on the other hand, there is a long stroke required to open and close the valve. What it means? It means that if my gate valve is closed, to have it at an uh, open position, I need to do many turns in the handwheel. And because of that, it's not used for controlling of fluids, although for sure a uh, gate valve can be used for throttling. In terms of PNID, here you can see the main symbol or the most used symbol for representing a gate valve. And in the system, we can see a gate valve upstream of a bundle of heat exchangers, downstream, and also in the bypass with the nomenclature NC. NC in this pipe instrumentation diagram means normally closed. So in normal operation, this valve here will be full open. This valve here will be full open. This will, this one here will be closed. And if I need to do some kind of maintenance in the heat exchangers, I can, for instance, uh, open this bypass and close the upstream valve and downstream valve, and with that, isolate the system. Now let's take a look in the globe valve. The globe valve is one of the most used valve for controlling of fluids in the industry. So one of the characteristics of a globe valve includes a large pressure drop because now instead of having the full bore of the pipeline available for flow of fluid when the valve is full open, now I have 
a different route to the fluid be able to pass through the valve. So I have here my plug re regarding the, the globe valve and my fluid will go from the bottom to the top and after that go to the pipe in a S-shaped flow. So because of that, the globe valve most common has the highest pressure drop considering the comparison with other valves. Something important to mention is that different from the gate valve that I can install in any direction, for globe valve it's important to install according to the direction of the flow, uh, direction of the flow of the system. So if my system goes from the left side to the right side, you will find in a globe valve in its body the uh, arrow indicating the direction. So I will not or I should not install the globe valve in an opposite direction that is shown in the, in the body. Its nomenclature or its the identification is because of its body very similar to a globe and taking into consideration the pipe instrumentation diagram, a globe valve most often is shown by each symbol here that you can see and it is found most often in control valves and in bypass for control valves. Verify that different from the previous drawing, this bypass here is to control the fluid in the absence of the control valve. That's not the case in the other one. And if I need to do the isolation of the system, I have here gate valves to do the isolation. And for controlling of the system, I have the globe valve. Uh, as we can do the throttling of the fluid with the gate valve, I can also do the isolation of the system of, with a globe valve, but it's not common because the globe valve is more expensive than a gate valve. So if I need only do uh, isolation, most probably I will select a gate valve instead of a globe valve. Another valve used in the industry is the ball valve and to be sincere it is my most favorite valve because it can be used for regulation and also for isolation. It will depend on the characteristics of the process of course and how much pressure drop you have available. When you need to add a, a higher pressure drop to the system to, to control your process, you will, you will look for a globe valve. But when we need to control a system and the pressure drop available is very low, eventually a ball valve will be the best choice for your process. So some of the characteristics of a ball valve includes that it is a 90 degree operate angle. So instead of having many, many rounds in a hand wheel, you will have only one quarter of hand uh, of a round to do the closing of the valve. You can see that when it is full open, we have the full bore. So it leads to a very low pressure drop and it can be used for liquid and gases as we have in the gate valve and also in the globe valve. In terms of pipe instrumentation diagram, this symbol here is most used for representing a bow valve and you can see here that can, it can be used for isolation of instruments, it can be used for isolation of pipes and in this representation here we have a flow transmitter that uses valve valve to do the isolation of the taps. A valve valve has many uses in the industry, including control. Another valve very common in the industry is the butterfly valve. Its characteristics is very similar to the valve valve, where we have 90 degree operation angle, low pressure drop, can be used for isolation and regulation, and for use with liquid and gases. The main differences between them is that in the ball valve I have a sphere and for the butterfly valve I have a disc. So when the disc is full open, the pressure drop in the system is much lower than we, if we compare with the globe valve. 
And because of that, it can be um, a good option when we need to control something that requires a very low pressure drop. We, in the pipe instrumentation diagram, most often the symbol used for butterfly valve is this one, as you can see here. And it can be used for isolation, especially for big size of pipe of pipe. Because instead of using a gate valve for large size, if we compare the price with a, a butterfly valve, the butterfly valve will be much, uh, it will be cheaper than the gate valve. And can be used for control, especially control of uh, flow, because it's low pressure drop and price. Up to this point, based on the function classification, we have seen the gate valve that is mainly used for isolation. We have seen globe valve that is mainly used for regulation. We have seen ball valve and butterfly valve that can be used for isolation and regulation. And now let's verify the check valve that is used for flow restriction. The main use of the check valve is to guarantee that one fluid will not flows in the wrong direction. What it means? It means that I have a kind of mechanism and there are different types of check valve where the flow goes to one side to another but is not able to return. And the direction of the, the flow that will be stopped is shown in the pipe instrumentation diagram with this kind of symbol here. So the arrow here means that my flow goes from the left to the right and I am not able to have a return flow from the right to the left because my check valve will be closed. In terms of installation, it can be installed in a vertical position or in a horizontal position depends on the type of check valve selected. And the, jo the choice to use uh, a check valve is most common when we have a parallel system. For instance, if we have pumps in parallel, if we have compressors in parallel, or if we have systems with different pressures, we will use a check valve to guarantee that the flow will stop if it goes in a wrong direction. Now I will share with you a selection chart where you will be able to verify how to select a valve based on the characteristics of regulation and also based on the fluid. But before doing that, get this opportunity to give your like to this video and also to subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about chemical process engineering and plant design. In this chart, you can see how to select a valve based on the mode of flow regulation and also characteristic of the fluid. Just to understand this chart here, we have the group based on the method of closing. We have the type of the valve, globe, gate, plug, valve, butterfly, pinch, diaphragm, and we have the mode of flow regulation. When you see an on-off flow regulation, it means that this valve is used, can be used or not for isolation. Because in isolation, or we have the valve on, 100% open, or we have the valve off that is 100% closed. When we talk about throttling, throttling in fact is the regulation. So if I can use this valve for regulation or not. So you can see that in this chart, the gate valve, there is a kind of gate valve that can be used for uh, throttling or regulation and it has a moderate performance. Moreover, we can uh, verify if a valve is suitable or not for the fluid based on the presence or not of solids. So, this chart here is available in this presentation and as I told you, this presentation can be downloaded for free. You just need to look for the link in the description of this video. Now that you already have a good understanding about valves classified as regulation, isolation and fluid restriction, I need to tell you about relief valves. 
And to do that, I suggest you to take a look on this video here.